Alrighty. Oh, this is a great angle. There's a microphone right here. Hopefully you guys can't see it. What's up guys? Thanks so much for the love on the last video. Uh, this video is going to be about some of the work I've been doing for the past like year and a half, I've been working on my filmmaking and taking courses and studying the ins and out of film. And throughout that time frame, I've also been working with an NFT artist named Fuocious. He started off as shooting photo work for them and portraitures of his events. He has a lot of activations for his art uh, in the NFT space. And slowly but surely, I started shooting some video with him. About two months ago, him and his team asked me to come to his studio where I sat down with him for a one-on-one -on -one interview with his manager and filmed that process where he talked about his upcoming art auction at Christie's in Miami for Art Basel. And he talks about his art pieces. He talks about the pieces from the previous year, as well as a little bit of a background of who he is and where he came from and his story. It was really cool to be there and have this intimate moment with him and his manager and hear his story. This is a director's cut and I'd probably change a couple of things, but I wanted to show you guys so you could see my work and hear the story. Let me know what you think. Hi, I'm Ferocious. Hello. Hi, I'm Victor. Hello, I'm Ferocious. I got excited. My name is Ferocious, I have a Christie's auction. Last year, I did my first ever auction with Christie's called, Hello, I'm Victor Ferocious and this is my life. It was five lots and each lot was a year of my life, going from ages 14 to 18. Those pieces were me reflecting on those years of my life. One day getting out of the bad situation that I, I felt at home and the pain that I felt or the joy that I felt. Making those paintings was important for me because I got to process all this pain and secrets that I had in my heart. I got to put it into five distinct pieces of my, my life. In a way, kind of make peace with trauma going 18 years of my life and no one knows that my name is Victor or no one knows who I am. I got to say that and articulate that. Life has changed so much, I mean, the medium that I make art in and share my art, the space has changed so much. The way I make art changed so much. And this year I'm doing age 19, which is me right now. I think this piece is more abstract than a lot of my art. I feel like a lot of my art has a structured character and it's more polished. But I didn't want to do that this year. It didn't feel, it didn't feel genuine. I just have a lot of feelings that I didn't think could fit in a polished character. And I have all these journal entries and all this doodles that I had on the side of my studio. And instead of trying to come up with a new character and new something, I thought, well, who I am right now is made of all those journal entries, is made of all those doodles. And I think in the piece, you see those layers, because I, I think I think I really had to take a look at myself this year and in ways beyond my family or beyond coming out or beyond just like, or just that I exist and I'm allowed to exist. When I didn't know if I still would at 19. And I wanted to show those layers of thought and that I'm still here. I think that's this piece to me, if that even made sense. So that's the video. One thing I'd probably really change is not using autofocus because Victor was moving his foot and that made the camera hunt. So you'd see the frame move a lot. And then additionally, I'd probably have an artificial light source. You can see just because we were in the studio, we didn't have any blinds or anything like that. We were using natural light and the light fluctuated throughout the video. And that was hard to correct for. Besides that, I really love the video and I'm glad to see my process. And let me know if you have any questions about that or about Fuocious and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.